Hi dear students today we are going to continue our first chapter forces in fluids and today we'll be discussing the last topic of this chapter viscous force by this topic a chapter will be finished and we'll be just discussing the latter stages and in next class we'll be moving on to a next chapter before going to the topic and all i need to mention you one thing always i am requesting you to send the notes on time right but many students just like najad let me highlight these names because for for so many reasons i i was just keeping this name for myself but now i need to tell you this so so many students like najad then riswan and all they are reluctant to send the homeworks not just them a few of them a few like them a few of your class a few of students like these students i mentioned they are reluctant to send the notes and even though i requested many times still there are a lot of notes to be checked or i didn't get many notes that is why i am again mentioning the same with the names i want all of you to know regarding this it is really difficult for me to check all these notes and you should understand the fact that in order to check your notebooks i have bought a new mobile itself because all these Uh, my personal messages and the messages from schools the tuition classes and from you all people these all are piled up together and it was really difficult for me to check and uh, to, to be honest what i thought was uh, due, due to my issues students should not face any difficulties or their notes should be uh, checked in proper time and all that is why i bought a new mobile and all i am not i don't, i don't want to talk regarding the purchase and all but please keep in the, keep this in your mind that i am trying to do my level best but many of you or many of the students they are not at all cooperating with me okay so i am really facing difficulties uh, not just to check their notes but also the others notes you may be or the students like them they might be sending the notes at some other time or after 2 3 or 4 weeks or one month or two months and so on now in between some students will be sending their notes also on that correct time but due to this piled up messages i will be having really difficult to check the notes so i want you to know this and i want you to send the answers or send the homeworks as soon as possible okay now let us go to a topic as you can see here a topic which we are going to discuss today is viscous force now the topic itself it is explained in the chapter with a small activity you need to take a glass plate or something which is in the form of a plate and we need to place one drop of water one drop of honey and one drop of kerosene okay the order you can change the order and all but you need to keep water kerosene and honey now you need to keep this slanted or in in some slope okay now you know that if you keep it as you keep it in a slope these three fluids will start to move now the question is first one let me write here first one is water second one is kerosene and third one is honey now the question is which one of them will be moving faster that is that is actually an activity that you can do from your home itself right if you keep the glass plate in some slanted position we can see that three of them will move but water will move very fastly then kerosene and then honey so honey is the slowest kerosene moves faster than honey but slower than water and water is the fastest of all these three now automatically a question will arise why is that so three of them are fluids all of them are at same slope and all now why water moved fastly than kerosene or honey and why kerosene moved faster than honey but slower than water so some questions are there so in order to answer this we need to discuss regarding viscous force or viscosity that is a thing so here you can see a question at the end of the first paragraph hold the glass plate slightly tilted tilted means slope in a slope okay korchu cherichittu vekkanu parayunnathu compare the speed of flow of each liquid and write it down in your science diary said not science notebook so first point they are written the water flows faster than honey you need to write second point it is true that water flows faster than honey but you can add one more point kerosene kerosene flows faster than faster than honey but slower than water do you understand that 
okay kerosene flows faster than honey okay but slower than water even you can add one more point honey moves or honey flows slowly very slowly compared to kerosene and water so i am not going to talk regarding that now now the thing is that we are going to discuss regarding viscous force or viscosity so you know that while we were discussing regarding forces in our 8th standard we discussed regarding a force called as force of friction do you remember that friction and force it is a contact force it is a contact force and what do you mean by contact force contact forces are those forces which comes into play when two surfaces are in contact when they come to aim in contact when they touch each, touch each other then the frictional force will come into play isn't it so here we know that frictional force is force which is which will be there between surfaces for example here water is flowing so between water and the glass plate there will be frictional force between kerosene and the glass plate there will be frictional force between honey and the glass plate there will be frictional force but this frictional force will be almost the same right because we are keeping the same amount of water droplets here so the frictional force which is exerted by the glass plate and the fluid let it be water kerosene or honey it will be exactly the same or almost the same so it can't make the difference in this speed of flowing then what else causes this difference what else is the reason behind the difference in the speed of flow of water kerosene and honey that is what we are we need to answer here so besides the force of friction between the glass plate and these liquids there is actually another frictional force between the layers of a fluid what does that mean actually layers of fluid idil ipo ada layers nu parayunathu so when you keep on looking or when you start to magnify this water droplet or kerosene or honey you can see the fact that these liquids they actually they are set of layers they are not actually a single thing but if you zoom in or if you enter into deep or their layer structure you can see that they are actually consisting of many layers layers of water layers of kerosene layers of honey and so on whatever fluid you are taking they are actually some layers okay so we know that in between some surfaces or surfaces actually there will be friction force as in the case of this glass plate and this droplets here you can see some layers or layers of fluid between these layers actually there is a frictional force okay so between the various layers of a liquid we are able to see frictional force this frictional force which is there between the layers of a fluid it is called as viscous force or viscosity viscous force or viscosity is that clear for you so what do i mean by viscosity viscosity it is actually the friction but it is in between the layers of a liquid is that clear for you so you know that this frictional force is a force which do not allow motion we have discussed that in brief And, and we have given enough notes and we have discussed regarding the type of friction and all in our 8th standard so i don't want to go to the topic and all if you need some clarity you go and check that and if you need me to answer you just ask me that out okay so the frictional force which is there between various layers of fluid it is called as viscous force and while we consider honey kerosene and water water is having least frictional force than kerosene and honey kerosene is having higher viscosity than water but lower viscosity than honey now honey is having higher viscosity than kerosene and water that is why its frictional force between layers of honey is very high so it is not able to move freely if frictional force increase, increases the motion between or it will try to minimize motion that is what we call as frictional force a force which do not allow layers to pass each other or which do not allow the relative motion between surfaces that is called as frictional force so here the frictional force between various layers of honey is greater than that of kerosene and water and hence the the honey it will move slowly than kerosene than water okay now we we'll, let us move to the next page or the last page of the chapter page number 24 here you are provided with enough information regarding the same you can see a table there between the layers of a uh, be, uh, above that table let me uh, read that box between the layers of a liquid in motion there is a frictional force 
parallel to the layers which try to prevent the relative motion between layers. This frictional force is the viscous force. Viscosity is the characteristic property of a liquid to oppose the relative motion between with different layers. I have discussed just now. Now you need to find out some pairs for, for in which one have high, greater viscosity and another is having lower viscosity. One example is given here honey and kerosene. Another example you can write kerosene. It is having higher viscosity than water. Or you can write uh, oil. It is having higher viscosity than kerosene. Or you can write water. Oh, sorry, water is not having higher viscosity. You can write water in lower viscosity and oil in higher viscosity. Likewise, you can find out examples and fill this table. Okay. Now, what else? Liquids of greater viscosity are viscous liquid. So, if a liquid is having greater viscosity, then we call it as viscous liquid. So, if viscosity of a liquid is higher or more than the normal value, we call that as viscous okay viscous liquid now what else and those of very low viscosity are mobile mobile okay so you actually studied regarding two classifications of fluids based on their viscosity if a liquid is having higher viscosity or viscous force we call that as viscous liquid if it is having lower viscosity we call it as mobile actually the word meaning of mobile is movable okay Movable. So, mobile liquid means it is actually movable. Mobile ambulance and all. You might have heard regarding that. Haven't you studied in your earlier classes that a person who had an electric shock is to be massaged? Let us see what changes it produces in the body of a person. This is actually a very important question. Okay. Let me make put a star here. So, in 7th standard itself, we have studied the fact that if someone among you is actually getting an electric shock, Okay, someone among you is actually getting an electric shock. What we have to do? Immediately we have to massage the person, right? Massage the palms and all. Now the question is, can you answer why we massage a person when he or she got electric shock? Why, why, why are we actually doing that? Why are we massaging? We can answer the same based on viscosity or viscous force. Okay, that is what we are going to do here and is a very important portion. And here, before going to the topic, we are just discussing regarding honey itself. You take a glass plate, keep in a tilted position, you put two drops of honey. But there is a difference. One of the, dro one of the honey drop, it is actually heated. Okay, let me put one and two here. The first honey drop is actually heated and the second honey drop is in the room temperature. So this is at higher temperature, one is at higher temperature and two is at a lower temperature. And if you keep the uh, glass plate in tilted position or slanted position, you can see that both will start to move and the first honey is moving at a higher speed or higher flow speed than the second one. Actually both the honey, the drops are of same size but the difference is first droplet it is actually heated then second is at room temperature and you are able to see that the first drop was moving very fast from this one thing is that one thing which we can understand is that if temperature increases if temperature increases viscosity or viscous force decreases or vice versa if temperature decreases viscosity increases and based on this point, we are going to explain why we need to massage a person who got an electric shock. In biology, you might have studied the fact that we are actually warm-blooded animals. We are warm-blooded animals. There are actually two types of animals, warm-blooded animals and cold-blooded animals. We are warm-blooded animals. And in our case, as we are warm-blooded, it means that we have a fixed body temperature of 37 degrees Celsius. This is our fixed body temperature. This body temperature is maintained by many biological processes. Okay, many biological processes are there which is there to maintain our body temperature of 37 degrees Celsius. You know that if it is very cold, our body will start to shiver. Shiver. And by shivering, our body temperature increases. Or if it is very hot, we'll start to sweat, right? We'll start to sweat. And by sweating, our body temperature will be lowered. So both these processes are actually there to maintain our body temperature at 37 degree Celsius. Now these things which I just told now, they are actually a part of biology and it won't be asked in physics and all. But 
I discuss the topic in order to give you a base. Suppose a person is getting electric shock, what happens is that his biological process will be ceased. Okay, his biological process. His biological process will be stopped or ceased. As he got electric shock, the process all stopped. And I told you why this biological process or some of these biological processes are there to maintain our body temperature at 37 degrees Celsius. And what will happen if our biological process just stopped? This body temperature will decrease. And what will happen if our body temperature, let me write BT here, body temperature. What will happen if our body temperature decrease? Our blood, our blood, it is actually a fluid, right? So when the temperature decrease, the viscosity of blood, it will increase. Okay, when temperature decrease, our viscosity of blood, it will increase. And what will happen if viscosity of blood increase? It will be really difficult for the heart to pump the blood. Okay, it will be really difficult for the heart to pump. So it may affect our all biological process and even it may lead to blood clot and all and we may die the person may die when you rub the palm and all actually there are lot of blood vessels under our palm and all so whenever you rub these portions the blood get heated up okay the blood get heated so when the blood get heated viscosity will decrease right when temperature increase viscosity decrease so when viscosity decrease again the blood flow will be normal this is why we rub the palms and hands of person who got an electric shock so that we can avoid the danger situation you know that after this we need to take the person to hospital and all but before that you need to do this so that you can avoid a dangerous situation or else uh, by the way the person is taken to hospital he or she might die okay so this was a very easy chapter actually you need to see the class two or three times so that you get a good idea and if you have some doubt you can ask it again okay so the important questions or important topics which we discussed in this chapter were in first part it was archimedes principle then flotation and in the next part regarding density and buoyancy and all it was the first part actually but it is less important than this one that is why i told you now density why it affect buoyancy and all then after that we discussed regarding uh, this lactometer hydrometer stuff and all then the important topic of this chapter is of course pascal's law of course it is pascal's law and its equation f1 by a1 is equal to f2 by a2 where you have to do some conversion if the question demands okay now after that we discussed regarding capillarity and all which was discussed in last class and many of you asked many doubt i am really happy about that okay thanks for that and today we discuss the last topic of a chapter which is viscous force and now you need to do the letters assess and after that i will be posting the answers of the same in our group or if you have any doubt you can ask the same also but before that in the letters assess you need to do the extended activities also okay in letters assess you need to do besides letters let me say in exercises besides letters assess you need to do extended activities also is this clear for you so we are winding off this chapter if you have any sort of doubt please clear it then and there itself without any fail okay thank you yeah.